Cable Guy. So, hello everyone. I'm Rodimus2099 back with another uh, movie review. So if you don't know, today is Film Friday where I will review a film that I really like. And usually these will just be either suggestions from you or just my personal opinion. Uh, this week's is The Cable Guy. Starring Jim Carrey and it's directed by Ben Stiller. Uh, it was sort of in the late It was sort of before the height of Jim Carrey's career. I feel that his career sort of skyrocketed when he did Mask and um, other great movies like uh, Truman Show. And this one is definitely one of people's least favorite of his. Uh, they say that like this is the worst one of his, even though I definitely don't think it is. It could be my favorite Jim Carrey movie. Actually, I am full 100% able to say that this is my favorite Jim, Jim Carrey movie of all time. Now, I know you might disagree with me. And sometimes even I disagree with myself. I, I definitely don't think it's the best in terms of film. In terms of, like, if you're going to review it as a, so a solid movie. But I definitely feel that, personally, I find this movie... Way better than The Truman Show. Way better than uh, Mask, which is my other favorite. And way better than one of what people say is his greatest work. Um, and it's... Uh, I forgot the name. But basically, he's a depressed guy. <laughs> you probably know that movie just by me saying that. And if you don't, it's a R-rated Jim Carrey movie. It's a very good one. But um, everyone says it's the best. I, I Personally, I don't like it. I don't like it. I just don't... But we'll talk about that when I talk about that movie, which will be not tomorrow. I mean, not next week. So Ben Stiller has had such a wobbly career. It's sort of like sitting on one of those collapsible tables. You don't know if it's going to fall off or not. Because uh, at the end of the day, it's sort of just meant to just be a table. And, you know, sometimes he doesn't have the best movies. I definitely don't think that... The Night of the Museum trilogy is his finest work. But I still like it. And one of my favorite movies. A lot of his movies I like because they're sort of ahead of their times. Zoolander, which is one of my favorites. I could say that is probably my favorite Ben Stiller movie. Because in this one, in Cable Guy, he's directing it. He's not in it. But with Zoolander, it's ahead of its times. It's sort of a mocking modern society. He... Sort of, it's sort of like joking about the modern stardom and how you don't really know what's going on underneath the surface. And there's all these other elements that are really just playing in that are just hard to, for us to comprehend. And especially at that time, you're like, that's not ahead of its times. And this movie was not seen ahead of its times. It was not even seen like it was a good movie. A lot of people hated it. But looking at it now, I think that it's probably one of the best works of art. Now, let me just describe Jim's character. Um, so, he is the Gable guy. He uh, grows up sort of without a good father figure, but his father figure is the TV. He gets attached to characters. He watches a lot of TV. He gives his opinion. He automatically thinks that you're his friend. This is modern society. This is what we live in, the age of the internet. Where everyone has their opinion. It's a strong opinion. And it's definitely a strong one. He has strong opinions about stuff. And everyone does. We all do. I have strong opinions about something. When people say that video games is the root of evil. I'll obviously say. No. No. Pokemon cards are. But I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> um, If you aren't a big fan of my channel. Then you don't understand that joke. Let me explain it to you. In a new session I call Joke Explained. Where I will explain a inside joke. If you don't know. I've been working on making a Pokemon card video. For the past. Like 10 days. Because it's so hard to edit. And that is really making me annoyed. So that's why I didn't make three videos. That's why I wasn't able to make videos for like 6 days. Well obviously there was a video in between them. But anyway. You understand. Back to the review itself. So, I really feel that his character sort of is a new person. And I'll talk about this in one of my next reviews, definitely not next week's, but one after that. Mystery Men, which is a Ben Stiller movie, and it's ahead of its time. It's making fun of the MCU before the MCU was even a thing. 
before we had ever, ever had movie, big blockbuster movie team-ups with superheroes. We didn't have Batman and Superman. I think around that time, we just sort of ended the Michael Keaton era of uh, Batman and the sort of bad, uh, bad era of Batman movies with Batman and Robin and stuff like that. And sort of shifted into trying to make good ones, but of course we didn't. <laughs> and it was making fun of them. It was making fun of them having powers and them always, them always being like, sort of just ads. And it's a really solid movie if you want to see it. And there's a lot of stuff in it that definitely hasn't aged well, but a lot of it is good. Um, but a lot of his movies are ahead of their times. I mean... One of his movies that's been great is Tropic Thunder, but that's because it was very mainstream. It was very in the now. It wasn't back then when it was made. Um, which, again, that's sort of annoying to think. Like, hey, we had these great movies then, and now we really don't. What's going on? But I definitely think that this movie shines bright when Ma Matthew Broderick sort of starts to realize, like, maybe this isn't the best solution for me being here with him. Uh, there's some scenes where they, uh, he's like, I'll invite some of your greatest friends over. And he's like, what? And they don't really know him. They're not his super friends. Uh, but he thinks that they are. And all of this just escalates and escalates. Um, and it's just such a good movie. I don't really want to spoil it, though. <laughs> Which is a bad part, because really you have to spoil the movie to even watch it. To even watch it, you have to think, I'm just spoiling this up, the movie for myself. Usually we all do that. With the Truman Show, I was like, he's going to get out, he's going to get out. And I'm like, damn it, he, he is going to get out. Ugh. Spoil the movie for myself. But this time, I definitely think that if you spoil the movie for yourself, it's fine. Because this movie throws a lot of curveballs at you. I definitely like its message that we're spending too much time on the TV instead of being with humans. There's sort of this moment where, again, spoiler warning, which I don't want to, the cable goes out and people are, it was like at this big moment, everyone was watching TV and everyone was sort of like, what do we do now? Sort of like the ending of the Truman Show where they go, what's on next? And um, I just think that that is amazing. That was amazing. So... I don't want to cut this short because I probably will spoil it for you, which I don't want to do. But if you haven't seen Cable Guy already, I'd recommend to go watch it because this is a, such a unlitted movie yet. It's so there's not many people who are like, oh, I love Cable Guy. Uh, when people give me their top 10 list of Jim Carrey movies, Cable Guy doesn't even scratch the surface. They don't even mention it where I feel that we, we, we should stop that. So, I'd obviously recommend you to go check out Cable Guy, invite some of your friends over, get a big bu bucket of popcorn, watch the Cable Guy, and tell me what your thoughts about it was in the comments below. Now, just to be clear, I don't think this will be the background for my future movie reviews. I don't know what is. I did this because my other location is kind of booked um, by uh, there being a hole in that side of the wall. I need to take down my poster, because if I do take down my poster, if I keep my poster up, then it just defeats the reason of why the hole is there. Which, I cannot tell you. It's a private matter. Private. But, I really enjoy this movie, and uh, I definitely think that if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Anyway, giving this movie a rating, I do alphabetical. If you don't know, the best a movie can ever get is A++, but that really won't be awarded too often. I want to award this cable guy the A++, but I can't. But it still gets an A+, in my book. A++, you'll see a couple of those happen, but those won't be too, too, too often. They, they won't be often. They're probably going to be more rare than a B movie. Which I don't think that there are many B movies. Not the one with Jerry Seinfeld. No, I mean B movies like, hey, they're good, but they're not good enough. Solid B movie. Uh, there aren't many of those. Uh, I could say It Chapter 2 and It 1. It was it. Um, they're solid Bs, but definitely not too many are. Uh, don't expect to see a lot of them. Expect to see a lot of 
a lot of A's. I am not going to do many reviews on F's. Because if I want to see an F movie, I'll go watch an F movie that I already know is going to be bad. The Room, which, speaking of funnily, I'm not going to cover that. I just, I just won't. Um, it's been already kind of mocked so many times that I won't. But, I do want to have some suggestions, so leave me a suggestions. But, tomorrow, the next weekend, next Friday, I will be reviewing... One of my favorite, favorite movies. The Matrix. Nah, just joking. I'm going to be reviewing The Phantom Menace because it's the 20 year anniversary of it. So I thought, what better time than to do it? Uh, well, it's not just trying to, uh, it's January, May 19th is its 20 year anniversary. But uh, I just forgot to, so I will cover it then. So stay tuned next week for the review of Phantom Menace. What a fun time we will have. What a fun time we will have. Again, go check out Cable Guy. Go check out The Truman Show. Both movies that I reviewed so far. Go check out any of the other movie reviews that I have on my channel. They're scattered, but expect them every Fridays from now on. Anyway, thanks for watching Film Friday. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!